Summer is probably the most popular season amongst the others. You get to wear cute outfits, eat ice cream with your significant other, and enjoy the beautiful greenery at picnics and weddings. But unfortunately, the sweltering heat can wreak havoc on our hair. That's why I chose to create a three-part video series called Tips for Natural Hair Care in the Summer Season. In this video series, I'll give you some tips on how to make three popular hairstyles last in the heat, show you some stylish ways to combat sun damage in your hair, and in this video, I'll show you how to retain moisture in your hair in these high temperatures. In the summertime, lots of natural women complain that their hair has become very dry. This is caused due to the high amount of moisture in the air, or in other words, the high amount of humidity. Due to this humidity and high temperatures, our hair will soak up the excess water in the air which will raise our cuticles and cause our hair to be very dry, which can ultimately lead to breakage. Furthermore, humidity can cause us to lose our curl pattern and leave us with every curly girl's worst enemy, frizz. Luckily, there are things we can use so that the humidity can work in our hair's favor and not against it. Humectants are great to use in the spring and summer because it attracts the moisture from the air into our hair. Although there are a few common humectants, here I will briefly discuss glycerin. In these two popular hairsprays, or curl refreshers, you will see that they both contain glycerin, but one says vegetable glycerin while the other does not. What's the difference, you ask? While both glycerin and vegetable glycerin is great for our hair, choosing one or the other is solely up to you. Vegetable glycerin is made of mostly plant oils and non-vegetable glycerin is made from animal and or petroleum based oils. You will usually find vegetable glycerin in all natural and or organic products. You can also buy vegetable glycerin by itself and make your own concoctions of a spray, leave-in conditioner, etc. with this ingredient to suit your hair needs. In order to gain the best benefit from using humectants, make sure your leave-in conditioners and stylers contain ingredients that are humectants. Here I am showing you Curl Junkie Smoothing Lotion, which is a leave-in conditioner, and Hair Solutions Curl Keeper, which is a styler. Both products contain two humectants. Each one has a humectant listed in the top five ingredient list, which means you're going to have a lot of that ingredient in this product, which is great for the summer season. To further help combat dryness in the summer season, make sure you continue to deep condition your hair on a regular basis while using heat to further penetrate the hair strands. If your hair is already severely damaged due to the heat, make sure you try products that have emollients in them. A good example of this is Original Moxie's Emollients. Well that's it for this video. In the next video in the series, I'll touch on stylist prevention measures to protect your hair from sun damage. If you have any questions, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.